Welcome, fellas. So I want to do things a little bit different, switch gears a little bit today, and in an effort to connect with you guys a little bit better, I'm going to share with you 10 things about me that you may not know. Okay, welcome back. It's great to see you. And as always, I'm glad that you're here. So I get asked a lot of personal questions. And so what I thought I would do today, switch up the environment a little bit and share with you 10 personal and some professional things about me that you might not know. For those of you that don't know who I am, really quick, my name's John and I'm the founder of 40overfashion.com where I've been creating content surrounding men's lifestyle topics since 2014. Okay, first up. Uh, I am 50 years old. I get asked a lot about my age and actually I just turned 50 in April and currently it's June. So I just turned 50 a few months ago. It was, it was a little interesting, a little weird actually to turn 50. I think for me anyway, like it's just a number. I still, my body hasn't failed me yet. I'm still healthy. I'm still fit. I still feel really young. I can still do a lot of activities and all of that stuff. But I think for me anyway, turning 50 was interesting because I think, again, my opinion that when you're still in your 40s, you can still kind of fake it, right? But once there's a five in front of your age, I think you got to settle down a little bit. It's just harder to pull off certain things. Next, I was married for about 19 years and about four years ago got a divorce. I do not recommend it, but I think what it did for me on some level is it allowed me to grow more as an individual and experience things that I wouldn't have otherwise had the opportunity to experience. Um, the divorce was a challenge, but uh, at least to this day, my ex-wife and I are still friends. Okay, next, I have a background in customer service and technical support. I worked for the same company for a little over 20 years doing uh, customer service and tech support type stuff. And what's interesting, at about that time, I had given this company half of my life, right? So I had started working there, I think when I was 19 or 20. And uh, I think I left when I was 42, I wanna say. I think that's about what it was. But anyway, interesting. L really loved the company, loved the people. I just wish that there was a little more that um, management could have done to make morale a little bit easier. For example, on my 40th birthday. I mean, your 40th birthday is kind of a landmark. I mean, that's kind of like one of those milestone birthdays and like nothing happened. There was nothing, I don't know, not that I deserve a birthday party or anything like that. Don't get me wrong. I'm just, I'm just saying that it's, it's not too difficult to keep track of your employees' uh, milestone birthdays and at least put a little effort into recognizing your employees. Okay, next, I've been working on and off as a full-time photographer for about the last 10 years or so. So when I left the company, uh, I had moved myself into a position about a year and a half before I left where I was doing their uh, audiovisual department. Basically, I was making training videos and shooting uh, advertising still photography for these um, energy system products, these gas-fired products. So I would make training videos to where these videos would then go you know, on a global network. So people could learn the new updates without having to travel into, you know, our facility. Anyway, so that's kind of what I was doing. So when I left them, uh, I started doing photography full time. I was doing some real estate photography back in the day. That's kind of where I got my start. Then I moved into doing headshots. So I was probably one of the most popular headshot photographers in the Seattle area at one time, and then moved to California and got into the wedding industry, had a partner, uh, a relationship there. And so that business really grew, which was really fun. I enjoyed that very much. So yeah, there's been a photography background. Okay, the next fun fact about me is that I love wine. I probably love wine a little too much. I do drink a bit of it. So when I lived in Southern California, I lived in the Temecula Valley. So everyone knows Napa Valley in uh, Northern California, sort of the king of California wines. Temecula Valley is sort of that baby brother to Napa. It's not as well known, not as popular, but a huge industry uh, in uh, Temecula Valley. And I used to live about a 10 minute drive from the heart of wine country, like all the wineries. So I had memberships. Cool thing, if you ever get down to Temecula, first of all, I highly recommend Temecula 
as a destination if you're into wine and that kind of a thing. So much to do, lots of activities. The wineries are always trying to outdo each other by having concerts or having events. Or it's just, it's an amazing place to, to spend some time. So I learned a little bit about wine. I'm no expert, but uh, I know a little bit. Okay, so speaking of Temecula, the next fact about me is that I was born and raised in Seattle, Washington, sort of bounced all over the Seattle area, West Seattle, Green Lake, Wallingford, sort of all of the Seattle areas, and moved to Southern California, like I said, to Temecula. I lived there for about four years, and now I'm back in Seattle. The next fun fact about me is that I'm what you would call an ambivert, which is essentially I have introverted and extroverted tendencies both. So I do crave social interaction uh, quite a bit, but I also I also crave downtime and alone time, right? To just to sort of think and be in my own head and focus. The other interesting thing is that if if I'm in a situation where I'm by myself and I'm forced to go like network and like meet a room full of people. That's when I sort of clam up a little bit. It's hard to sort of break the ice, but once the ice is broken, like I'm on a roll and I'm totally fine. It's just getting to that point. Next up is that I am extremely emotional. So if you know me, you understand this. And if you've seen some of my YouTube lives, you probably know this as well. It's difficult for me to hide how I'm feeling, which, can be a negative, but I'm okay being in touch with who I am and you know my feelings and everything. So I'm I'm okay with that. But if if you know me, if you're if you're close to me, you pretty much always know what's going on. You pretty much always know how John's feeling because it's difficult for me to hide that. So again, that might be a bit of a negative, but uh, yeah, it's just part of who I am. All right, next is that I love to play golf. I'm huge golf fanatic. I don't play as much as I used to, or even as much as I would like. Back in the day though, um, I was working two jobs. I had my regular full-time job as a customer service tech, and then I would go work at a driving range in the evenings part-time. So I'd get free range balls and I'd get free practice time and, and all of that. And at one point I thought that the golf industry was something that I wanted to do for a living. Not that I was good enough to be on television or anything like that, but I thought that I wanted to work as a club pro um, or a head pro or something like that at a golf course or country club. Okay, so the last item in this video is that I do not have any children of my own. So back when I was 20s, 30s, I didn't want kids. I was so busy with my life and everything else that I was doing at the time that just there was just really no room for children, so I had thought. What's interesting though is the older you get, at least in my opinion anyway, this is, you know, this is me, is that the older I get, the more I kind of feel like I'm missing out on something. For example, when I'm 85 years old in a retirement home somewhere, you know, hopefully living on a golf course or something, who's gonna come visit me for Christmas, right? That's kind of, that's the feeling. Okay, so there you have it. I hope that was informative. I hope you learned something about me. And again, this is just in an effort to connect with you guys on another level. Uh, you know, I normally talk about style or products, that kind of a thing. And I really hope this sort of shed some light on kind of who I am. And I hope that helps you understand where I'm coming from sometimes, maybe, I'm not sure, hopefully. Anyway, fellas, Thanks for taking the time. I do appreciate you being here. Thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please take care of that right now because I'm here twice a week with brand new videos talking about men's lifestyle. Give this video a thumbs up if you did learn something and fellas, please take care. We'll see you very soon.